Hey guys, welcome back to Expos Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about a module that allows you to access things quickly from your lock screen. And it's called Quick Access. Let's check it out. So there's two different ways of getting this application or this module installed on your device. You can either A, get it straight from the Expose module. You go into the Expose module installer, look for Quick Access version 1.4, or you can go into the Google Play Store and look for Quick Access from Log Screen, and it's made by Twinblade. So this gives you the installation of the module itself, gets it in there, gives you a little bit of a description of what the application is or the module does. Once you have all of this done, you can turn on the actual module by, or actually configure the module by going into it, and it'll give you a list of all the installed applications on your device. There are two things you want to keep in mind. This is the free version of it. It's limited to three applications to be able to interact with. Anything outside of that you have to upgrade, and the way you know that is because it has, uh, it has actually the option right here. It says unlock all features, and it gives you the request to actually be able to charge it all in 99 to unlock it. But anyways, in the basic version, the three, fee the three applications are pretty well, and the setting is pretty good. The only thing when you do get, uh, you get when you hit the, word, the button for settings is the ability to be able to expand your notification bar when your lock screen is locked. That is not an issue for me. I already have that option set, but if you don't, that's the only thing you get there. Other than that, you can get, go through, list, and look through all your applications. I've already selected two of my applications that I'd like to interact with, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, Flipboard, and um, I guess it's called Flowly now uh, for Android, um, and this, basically those two D applications. Once you're done, do not exit. Always hit Save. If you don't hit Save, it won't give you this option to reboot, and then you say Reboot, and you start the device. Once you restart it, this is when the actual module starts functioning. Um, and I say that because... Uh, when I first read the instructions on how to use this, and I tried using it a couple times, I couldn't figure out how to get it, but the interaction with it is simple. If you're using the application, you're on the device. I just launched the application itself. It's running. Everything's fine. Something happened. You just walked away, and then you have to come back. So your device locked. We're going to turn off the screen. And we are on the lock screen, and I turn it back on. And as you notice, the first thing I'm greeted with is the application I was using. I checked it, and it's part of the quick access. It's interactive. I can use it, I can use everything, I can open up an article, I can scroll through it, I can go back, I can change different areas, I can go home. Once I go back and hit that button, it takes me back to my normal lock screen and I'm greeted with my dash clock right there. I'm in Flipboard, I'm reading my articles, I lock my, my, my device, I have to walk away, and then I'm coming back and I want to continue doing what I'm doing, but I don't want to, you know, I have to unlock and go through, it's there. And the way you know you're running under quick access, you don't have the multitask application function on the bottom right, you only have home and back. Home still launches Google now, so if you still have that functionality, it will work. And then back takes you back to your normal lock screen, and it unlocks from there. It does not unlock you directly into the device, but it gives you access to it on, uh, in front of the lock screen. So it's point of reference, quick access. Other than that, it's pretty simple. And hey, here's our buddy Jordan with the, the Monday News Recap. So installing it and turning it on is pretty simple. From what you can see, see, we've done this many times. The module itself is pretty simple to turn on. Now, using the module is a little bit of a tricky process. And I say that only because when you first install it, you might be able to get it. Maybe you can get it right out of the bat. But when I first installed it, I was a little bit confused as to how to access it. Because in the description, it describes that I'm actually able to use this with Dash Clock. So when I looked at it and I tried functioning and trying to find the option for the Dash Clock option, I couldn't find there. But what I realized is after looking through the thread and then looking at some of the replies from the developer, it's actually intended to actually run something that's already turned on. So as you guys saw with the hands-on, you turn on the application, let's say you're doing something on it, and you leave. And then you come back to the device itself, and then you want to access it again. You first, now obviously, you have to unlock your device. You have to go back. Sometimes, you most likely, have to relaunch the application. But if it was the last thing that you launched on the device, when you turn it back on, it'll be the first thing that greets you on the device. And you're able to use this on top of your lock screen, so your device doesn't actually have to be unlocked, and you're still able to use this application itself. It's great if you want to share something with somebody, and let's say you want to just have them access that specific application, and you have, let's say, a pin access, uh, kind of a security thing on your device. And that way, you kind of limit them in where they're going. Um, it's also great in the situation if you want to resume something and it just lets you resume things quickly because you just unlock the, uh, the screen or turn it on and then you're right back into it. And as far as testing it, I've tested it on my Note 3 and on my Nexus 7 and it works pretty well. It just works in, in front of the lock screen itself. Um, it's limited to three applications right now in the free version and if you do want to upgrade and have unlock additional applications, please support the developer and unlock to the pro version. And other than that, I think it's pretty nice. It's a neat idea. It's uh, kind of unique in the way it does things. And uh, it's definitely being supported, and then the developer is listening to recommendations. So if you have any concerns, issues, 
Uh, please follow the thread in the description below the video here and uh, leave him and uh, give him some update and information. I uh, hope you guys like this, like this channel, like my channel as usual, and I will see you guys soon.